What's up everybody, my name is Vince. Welcome to the channel. Today's video, we're going to explore these two pack-up boxes and their differences. I know visually they look the same, but they definitely are much different. There's a reason for it. We're gonna tell you all about it right after this message from our sponsor, VCG Construction. So this is Milwaukee's pack out capable, right? Half size, half width. This is their toolbox. This is very similar in its looks. I know what you're thinking, like, yeah, it's just got a white lid. I mean, they both have this handle here, right? They're both pack out capable. You can see it on the top. They both have a metal latching system that allows them to open. You will see a significant difference though between the two boxes besides the color of the top or the lid. On this model, you have a grommeted ring for a lock so you can lock this down. Over here, we don't have such a ring. So there's no way to put a padlock or a bolt through here. So does that mean that the black top is a security model? Why is there no way to lock this model? The other thing is the capacity, how much you can fit the internal volume on this box is much smaller than this box here. This is more wide open. If you know the reason for these differences, leave it down in the comment section right now. Help out the rest of the very cool gang by giving them that clue of what the difference is. They're probably scrolling through the comments right now trying to figure it out before they even watch the video. But if you're not watching the whole video, you're gonna miss, you're gonna miss some key information. You'll also see that on this box, we have a bottle opener. Usually, the bottle openers are reserved for Milwaukee's radio offerings. You'll see it on our pack out radio. There is a bottle opener here. Both of these boxes will lock on to the pack out radio. So if we have a bottle opener here, why do we have a bottle opener here? Well, the reality is you might wanna take this on its own. Maybe you don't have the radio. So they included one on this box for you because this isn't any ordinary pack out toolbox. Although it looks very similar, this is Milwaukee's pack out hard sided cooler box. It's product number 48228460. It says it's the most versatile, durable, modular storage system, 16 quart compact cooler in the industry. That's what they say. It says holds ice for 30 hours. It's impact resistant. It's IP65 rated, and it's compatible with all other Milwaukee toolboxes and accessories. When we open these up, they are different, significantly different, and they should be. This is made for 30 hours of ice retention. This box is not. Will it retain ice? Sure, but this is not a, a cooler box. Could you use it for a cooler box? Maybe. You might not get great results. We actually did use this as a cooler box in this video here. When we open these two boxes up, I will tell you, there's something that I, I like more about one than the other when it comes to these boxes. We'll lift it up. I don't know why they don't have, maybe, maybe some of you could, can help me out. I like how the toolbox doesn't flop all the way over. I, I, I like that this stays up. Maybe it was too heavy to make that happen with the cooler box, I, I don't know. You'll see that both boxes have a gasket for IP65 rating, but this lid here is insulated. This lid is hollow. So there will be an insulating material in between the plastic or structural foam that this is made out of, okay? Whereas this box does not. Also, we have, it would look like it's NSF safe. We have a clear plastic lid. It is embossed with the Milwaukee Pack Out logo. I don't know, maybe you needed to put your peanut butter and jelly sandwich up in here or something or something, or, or your, your hard boiled eggs. You need them to be safe. You could put them in, in this top layer. Whereas the toolbox has a full width organizer tray here. Okay, we move that aside, you'll see 
We also have a whole bunch of options for breaking up this box as needed. I, I keep my Milwaukee bow grip jigsaw with the Collins coping foot and a spare charger in here. We have two batteries on top. It works out pretty well. If you look at these, when you have your organizers out, once again, the internal volume of the cooler box is much less because we don't have to have that insulation in this box that we do in this box. If you've been around the channel for a while, you'll know that when it comes to the boxes and the tools, we like to test the claims. We like to see if, because this is the reality. When it comes to coolers, like if I could get through the shift with retaining ice, or maybe even like, maybe even like 24 hours, I'm cool with that. Milwaukee's talking about ice retention for 30 hours with this box. Can it do it? Well, I think we owe it to you to find out. This cooler box is not inexpensive. I think that Milwaukee should live up to the deal, to the hype. This is the thing. If it, if it lasted the 24 hours, I'd be super excited about that. But I will tell you this, because they've set the expectation for 30 hours, if it does 29, I'm gonna, I'm gonna feel let down. Just being honest with you. I would rather companies under promise and over deliver than over promise and under deliver. It's just how I feel. Leave it down below if you feel the same way. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna open up our box. We have some ice. We've emptied our ice into our box. I'm gonna close the lid momentarily. I mean, let's be real here. If we're gonna have ice in the cooler box, you're probably gonna have, I don't know, a minimum of a few waters in there. We're gonna close the lid, we're gonna lock it down. It's 422 in the afternoon. That means I'll need to check this cooler box for ice, 1022 tomorrow night. Is that a rhythmic tick correct? Leave it down in the comment section below. Help a brother out. Oh yeah, in case you're wondering, we are in a climate controlled room. During the day, it, it averages about 74 degrees and overnight it, it pumps up to about 78, 80 degrees. Just for an FYI. We'll see you in 30 hours. All right, it's about 30 hours later. As you can see, Wednesday, July 8th, it's 1024 p.m. Let's get this thing open. We're gonna undo our latch. We're gonna pop the lid. And as you can see, we have a whole bunch of water. But we do have some cubes left in the cooler box. These waters is ice cold. So there you have it. This cooler box lived up to its 30 hour ice tension rating. Now, we did some calculations where we took the number of ice cubes that were initially put into the cooler box. After 30 hours, we counted up the remaining ice cubes. We then input those numbers into the PF theory. The calculations over time change, but before we get into all of that, I did notice in transportation that we do get a little bit of seepage. This is IP65 rated, this lid, the gasket, which does not mean it's waterproof. So if for some reason you have this in the back of your truck and there is some water over time, you could have a spill, number one. If we look at the lid itself, I don't know if that's because of my box or this box, but you can see in the middle here where the lid and the bottom of the box meet, there's, there's, it, it, it raises up. It's almost bowed. I thought maybe that was due to the way I put the top, the Lexan tray into the, the box. And I just wanna show everyone the little Lexan box, the little tray here, it's in there properly. Even if we remove that, that little tray, we're still gonna get, you could still see the bow in the lid. We have some water droplets on the outside edge beyond the gasket. And, and that was just from carrying it and the water sloshing around. And it seems to happen at the corners, even though it's, it seems tighter in those areas. This is pretty much which, which you can expect. I mean, I was carrying around, it was sloshing around in, in this manner. And we, and we had 
some water come out, but if we turn it on its side, why is that? Is that not odd? Okay, we can see it's below the gasket here. I had put it back here, close the lid, let's do it again, and then you could see it. With the tray in, it leaks. You can see that this tray moved. It's got water in here. I mean, can it be that there's water trapped in here now? It's easier to leak out. I mean, I don't, I don't know. But if we take this tray out, lock the lid down, we don't see any leaking. Oh. Is there something I'm doing wrong? I mean, you know, what, what is the issue here? I don't know. Does that make this a bad cooler? No. I think if you put any cooler on its side, it probably would leak if it was full of water. It does meet its 30 hour rating for ice retention. It is only IP65 rated, which doesn't allow for water retention in, in this amount. It would keep water and dust from going in or possibly coming out if there was a small amount. I believe they're meeting that rating as well, but be mindful, some of us, we might put this in the back of our truck, uh, might spend the day there, it might get hot in the truck and it, you know the ice will melt somehow as you're loading at the end of the evening or whatever it may be. You could have some water to clean up or have a mess in the back of your truck, be mindful of that. Back to the calculations. What we noticed was in the beginning of the test, at, on hour one, we saw much less ice melting. Then through time, the melting sped up and we saw a significant increase in melting at the 15 hour mark. Psych, <laughs> there's, no, there's no calculations. We, we put the ice in here and the ice was retained. We, you know, I know some people don't think we're scientific enough, but we take water onto the job, we take food onto the job. Uh, if, as long as it meets its ratings, I, you know, I don't care how it melts, as long as it's still there within the 30 hours that Milwaukee claims. And if you like getting real world results from a channel without needing an interpreter to put it in lay terms for you, then smash the like button. It's free for you to do. It helps out the channel immensely and Smashing a like button's not like smashing a mirror. You'll get seven years of good luck. There's no good reason not to. Also, leave it down in the comment section below. What are you thinking of Milwaukee pack out cooler box, hard sided? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think it shouldn't be leaking? Do you like a different brand cooler? We want to know. With that, I want to say I appreciate each and every one of you, especially you know who you are. You told us to bring it in and you told us to do the test and we appreciate the video idea. Thank you so much. We'll see you all on the next one. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're gonna get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications throw. What? You're not subscribed yet. Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.